I can't believe this theory isn't talked about more because it changes how we think about literally everything. Picture this. What if space-time, the very fabric of our reality, could be built from just light rays? Not particles, not strings, but light. Wild, right? Today, we're diving deep into twister theory, a groundbreaking idea by Sir Roger Penrose. So buckle up, folks, because we're going to challenge everything we know about the cosmos. All right, let's get into it. Here's the classic view of space-time for you. It's a 4D fabric combining three dimensions of space with one of time. Einstein's theory of general relativity tells us that massive objects warp this fabric, creating what we experience as gravity. Think of space-time like a stretchy sheet, and planets are heavy balls causing the sheet to dimple. Simple enough. So why mess with it? Because as elegant as it sounds, this picture fails when you zoom way in. Like, quantum level kind of close. Turns out, space-time becomes ridiculously chaotic and undefined at those scales, what we call quantum foam. Einstein's smooth picture just breaks. Enter twister theory. Instead of treating space-time as the foundation, it flips the script by constructing space-time from light itself. Yep, photons, the particles of light, become the building blocks of reality. Penrose asked, why not focus on how light interacts through space and time and then build space-time out of that? Twisters are mathematical objects that encapsulate all possible trajectories of light rays. Instead of tracking a point in space-time, you now track an entire light path. Cool, huh? In basic terms, imagine light beams crisscrossing and overlapping to form the scaffolding of reality. Twisters let physicists map those pathways directly, basically ripping up our traditional coordinate system. Light seemingly decides space-time's layout, and not the other way around. Incredible. But why is this important? Well, besides being totally cool, twister theory could bridge Einstein's relativity and quantum mechanics, a goal physics has been chasing for decades. That's right this humble idea might be the holy grail we've all been searching for. Now, let's step it up a notch. In advanced physics, defining a consistent framework to combine general relativity and quantum mechanics is like chasing a ghost. It's where concepts like string theory or loop quantum gravity try, and often struggle, to make things fit. But twisters rely on incredibly elegant mathematics derived from complex geometry. While early success was limited to simple systems, the idea sparked ways to simplify calculations of interactions, like those in particle accelerators. Fun fact, twister math is especially good at modeling particle collisions, like the ones at CERN. It dramatically simplifies computations involving gluons, those particles involved in holding atomic nuclei together. Here's the kicker. Twister theory has even found use in string theory. A version called twister string theory tries to unify quantum field theories with gravity, and honestly, that's huge. One of the challenges in physics is accommodating all the symmetries of the universe, something twisters handle more smoothly. Now, let me address the controversy. Critics argue that twister theory is more a mathematical tool than a physical explanation. Some say its reliance on idealized, massless systems makes it impossible to scale to general cases in our real, messy universe. Others argue it's beautiful, but incomplete, waiting for a vital aha to take it further. So why care? Because big ideas often pave roads to unexpected places. Physics thrives on being uncomfortable, on shaking the foundation to uncover new truths. Maybe twisters aren't the endgame, but history's great breakthroughs often look impossible at first glance. Still, twister theory hasn't fully cracked our universe's deepest mysteries, but it offers a tantalizing glimpse of what might be possible. All right, friends, that's twister theory in a hyper-focused nutshell. Is this the skeleton key to understanding space-time? Or just another flawed framework? Let me know your thoughts below. And hey, if you're new here, remember, this channel is fresh. Your comments and ideas shape what comes next. Don't forget to subscribe and be part of this journey. Stay cruised, stay hyper-focused, and keep questioning, because reality is stranger than we've imagined. Catch you in the next Mindbender.